Hi! In this tutorial we will learn how to use this Beline Mesh Renderer to create some power lines. To start, I want to create some light poles around here, so I'm going to drag and drop the Spaline Perfect Spawner to the scene, and I'm going to change its position, I want to start like back there, so I'm going to change the Z to minus 40 and a bit to the side around here should be good and I'm going to feed the spline prefab spawner script so all I need to do is to set the prefabs I want to spawn in this case I will use the light pole prefab so I'm going to drag and drop to here and click spawn so just to keep it a test so I can see it has spawning a light pole from me but I want a lot of them around here so what I'm going to do first I'm going to edge new curves to my spline and around here should be good so I'm going to just make a curve here by the end so just a little bit well that's fine well I want something around six light poles around here so what I need to do I'm going to do, go to the frequency and I'm going to change it to six and hit the spawn button and here we go now all the light poles are in place I'm just going to rename this object to Light Pulse Spawn. Now I'm going to add the power lines using the Spline Mesh Render. So I'm going to add Spline Mesh Render to the scene. And I'm going to rename it to Power Lines Generator. Now I'm going to set it to the position of the first on the first light pole, so I'm gonna set it to minus 40 and I'll drag it here to the side. Now I need the I want the power lines to begin here at the top, so I'm gonna just leave it on the side and I'm going to bring it up. around here, one here is good and I need to set the base mesh so I'm going to the models folder I'm going to the power line segment and I'm going to feed it right here right now I need to assign the material I'm going to the power line material drag and drop on top of it Now I'm just going to check if the power lines are perfect aligned with the light poles. And since they are not, so I need to pull the back a just a little bit like this. Now they should be a perfect align. Now they are. Well, I'm going to. I, I want to make it seems like they are hanging from each light pole. So to get this effect, I'm going to the control points and change them, change them to the free mode to get this effect. But before changing the power lines, I'm going to take them to the last light pole. So I'm just going to look from above and I'm going to add some new curves. They, they are kind of straight like here, so this is good, but this last light pole seems to be a little off, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the light pole, light pole spawner, and I'm going to grab the last control point, and I'm going to 
rotate it a little bit and I'm going to hit spawn again a bit more I want this to be perfect align spawn again that might be good so I'm going to get the four lines back a little bit Now that's good enough for me, so let's move on to the next, the next step. So now we have our power lines, but they are kind of straight. What I need to do is to give some more natural feeling. I'm going to select the power lines and I'm going to drag some control points down a bit. Like this. So it will seem like they are hanging from each light bulb, like this. You can see that here at each light bulb, the, the power lines kinda have this hard ed edge. This is because of the control points are set to the free mode, so this is very important to get this kind of effect right here. Now our power lines are completed. You can use this blind mesh renderer to create any type of mesh you want. You just need to have the mesh segment that you will extrude along this blind. It is available at the Unity Asset Store. The link will be in the description below. Thanks for watching.